I'm gonna share with you how to build an authentic personal brand so that you can build raving fans, a strong, powerful personal brand that is also profitable and very impactful at the very same time. So stick around, you're gonna to wanna to see what's coming next. Yeah, is that on the dog and bar? Yo, what is up? Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the Prove Em Wrong Prodigy, top 200 iTunes podcast host. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. With that being said, I'm here to share with you how to build an authentic authentic personal brand. Now, authentic is like a buzzword that could be thrown around a lot and hold no weight depending on who it's coming from. Trust me, um, I, I, I understand. I feel your pain when you hear like, oh, you're like, oh, here we go again with this this shit. Um, but you want to build an authentic personal brand that's that's real. It's authentic and, and it's you. You're not pretending that you're uh, trying to be something else that you're not because you can't you can't keep that up for one. And it's this it's cheesy and you're sleazy in that way. Does that make sense? Do you, are you following along? Let me know in the comments below if if you could dig that and if you can appreciate that. And if not, you can let me know in the comments soon. Just tell me I'm a douchebag. Whatever. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna dive into some dope. I'm about to lay it out for you. So let's head to the slide deck. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What we're talking about here is alignment with your brand and your business and uh, who you really are. So what you're saying and what you're doing need to be the same. People can feel the incongruity and that is likely a hidden reason you could be saying all the right things yet not sell or influence in the process. You don't need to act further along than you are. You just need to show that we will be doing this together. And I'll lead the let lead the way. And that's how you avoid the whole incongruence. Um, I haven't been there, but I'll take us there. Don't be this guy. Don't be the guy that posts pictures in front of rented Lamborghinis, uh, faking it, and um, you know, just just a total douchebag. You know, you don't need to act like something that you're not. So many people are doing this, and that's why it's killing them. And it's just, it's just, it, it makes me want to vomit in my mouth every time I see it. Uh, never talk about your financial position if it isn't good. For the same reason, you don't talk about the steamy shits you take. It's a turn off and nobody wants to hear about it. And if you sell money making, it's a death wish. It would be like telling her you have herpes right after you introduce yourself. So good luck digging yourself out of that grave. Just be yourself. It's so much easier. Look, let me tell you a story, man. I came out of prison with absolutely nothing. No money, no team, no network, uh, no experience, no way to get a job, none of that. And um, I, it took me a, a while, a long time. It wasn't, this isn't no overnight thing to get to where you're at. So anybody that tells you first and foremost that they can get you something overnight, run away because that's some bullshit. But um, after putting in the work, you know, and, and being vulnerable, being authentic, sharing, it was hard for me to share that part of my story of, man, I've been to prison. I, I've done. I used to be addicted to crack and heroin and all these hardcore drugs, and I was just throwing my life away. And it was hard for me to share that because I'm thinking like, well, I can't get a job anywhere. My best shot is being an entrepreneur, which I truly love and what I'm best at, anyways. But if I tell them that I've been in prison for over five years of my life and that I used to do hardcore drugs, then nobody's going to take me seriously. It's going to kill my positioning, my brain, and then I won't be able to feed my family at all or do anything that I really truly desire. And it wasn't until I had a great mentor that helped me get over that and see that by really being authentic, opening up, that's how you really build rapport with people and that's how you build a relationship is by being authentic and that's what attracts people to your vibe. And what I come to realize by sharing the mess of my message is one of the most powerful things about my brain and what draws people in. They're interested. They're curious. They have a powerful backstory. They want to get to know me more. And so just by being yourself, not holding back any punches, just being speaking truly what you feel and believe, even though it's going to piss people off in the process, that's the best way to go about it. Just being yourself. And that's another thing that we're going to get into in another future video where I'm going to talk about not holding back those punches, just saying exactly how you feel. Yes, you're going to piss people off in the process. Yes, it's going to probably drive people away from you, but guess what? It's going to foster a strong relationship with the people that do hold the same values and worldviews as you and are in your target audience and the people that you can actually serve and that want to work with you. So that's very powerful. So just be yourself, man. 
This is, don't be a, don't be the, the the other guy that's that's posting in front of Ran, rented Lamborghinis. Be yourself. All right. I hope that was helpful. If there's anything of areas of improvement, you can always let me know in the comments below. Like it. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. But if it wasn't, if it sucked, hit it with a thumbs down. I really do appreciate your honest and sincere feedback so that I can get better. Uh, you don't have to worry about hurting my feelings or anything. Uh, be totally authentic with me. Uh, right on. Yeah, definitely hit subscribe and tap the bell notifications if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your lead generation and customer acquisition. And I will see you on the next video. But until then, you can check out some of these videos that I'm getting ready to share with you right now. We put them hours in. To bring them dollars in oh, But it's that underdog empowerment oh, We put them hours in oh, To bring them dollars in My name is Zachary Bell And it's that underdog